to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a five DIY room decor ideas. But before we get on to the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to join my clay base squad and make sure to turn on the notification bell for more fun videos coming up soon. Now on to the video. So my first room decor idea is a wall tapestry hanging. It's like it's many different words, like a macrame, or a macrum, wall hanging, a wall hanging. There are many different words. So, let's get on to that. All right, you guys, so for this first room decor DIY thing, I've got a wooden tapestry. It's super cute because you can hang it anywhere. It's really easy and super cheap, and you can design it in any way you want. This is just one of my ideas that I designed it as. All right, you guys, so for this first one, I need yarn and a wooden dowel. And then we are going to start by cutting pieces of yarn about as long as my arm. And I'm going to cut eight of these. So we've got all eight of them. And then I take this wooden dowel and I start to tie them to the wooden dowel. Keep tying and tying and tying some more. And then Raquel is helping me cut more because we need a few more strings. We want to get as many strings, enough strings to fill as much of the wooden dowel so it's a bit bigger. And then we tie the rest of those on. And now I'm going to separate them out just a bit, like a little less than a centimeter or two. And now I start to tie them in the pattern I want. And I've tied them into like a triangle pattern, so I tied two together for the first row and then I would split each row in half and I tie the bottom all the way until I get a full triangle. And now that that is done, that is what it looks like. My second DIY room decor idea is a, it's like a grate, I guess. Crate? No, grate. And it can hold glasses. It's kind of just for as a decoration, but it can hold pictures, maybe string some lights through it. So comment down below how you would use this once you see what it looks like. Let's get on to that. Okie dokie, now I'm on to the second one. I have got eight mini wooden dowels, as well as a hot glue gun and tape and I start by rolling each dowel in tape so it looks fancier. You do not have to do this, this is more optional. I just did this to make it look a little more fancy. And then I start hot gluing them together. And just gluing more. I start by gluing rows going down. And once I have done that, then I start gluing rows going to the side. And I keep going until I have enough. And I am about done with hot gluing. Just taking off the strings now so it looks a little bit nicer. It. This one has to be one of my favorite DIYs. This one is a popsicle stick shelf slash decoration. Depending on how thick you stack them, you can make it a decoration, but you can also make it so you can hang stuff on it. Wait, not hang stuff. You can also make it so you can put stuff on it, like little tiny plants or who knows what. So comment down below what you would put on them or if you have ever made one of these. And yeah, let's get on. So to start off, I've got popsicle sticks. I'm gonna take just a few out and I make hot glue them into the hexagon shape and I hot glue them as thick as I need. So these can either just be a decoration or you can use these to hold something cute on them. I made mine not too thick so that it could just be for decoration. So as you can see, I'm getting, they're going, getting higher and higher and higher, but they're not too thick that they can be a shelf and I just keep gluing and you can spray paint these or paint them to make them look whatever color you want and that's what it looks like 
My last DIY room decor is spray painting hangers. I didn't make these, but I did spray paint them, which is still fun. So for this, I took multiple hangers, and then I spray painted the top, and you'll see how I did that. Okie dokie, this last one I've got hangers and some pink spray paint, and I am outside on the rocks, and I'm going to be spray painting the top so I'm on the rocks so that it doesn't ruin anything inside. This cap is very painful. And then I just spray paint the tops because I can't spray paint the bottom where the clothes are going to go because it might ruin the clothes. But I wanted to make them look cute, so I just spray painted the top. And I'm only doing one side for now, and I'm going to let them dry and then do a second side. And I'm doing multiple of these hangers because I have a lot of hangers, which means I've got a lot of clothes. And then sometimes I will add an extra layer to make it thicker or to get every bit done. And there you have it. That is the finishing touch. There's all my hangers. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to subscribe down below to join my squad and make sure to comment down below some more room DIY decor ideas you'd like to see on my channel and if you want to see that and make sure to stay tuned for maybe a closet tour or many more tours and check out the Ohana Adventure for a room tour. Till next time, I love you. Mwah.